Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time it was very lore wise, we were trying to figure out where our next base plan was to go and basically whilst all the others are off fighting each other, no one really suspected our guys to be heading towards Drake's Breath, which is where we are going. We are somewhere right now, I can't actually remember where, but we're gonna go scout out the place, see how everyone else is doing. I'd imagine this would be very open worldy. Um, so like side missions and stuff, but I don't know. So let's, let's head off. We're gonna make for Amber. Um, there are chocobos here. I know that you don't have to get the guys. Oh, oh. Okay, in all fairness, I was about to say, like, I yeah, know you don't have to get the guys who uh, are attacking you, but then I accidentally got them. And now we have to. So I guess I'll pass them out. Oh, these are hornets and more of these guys. Oh, I thought I was on the Gerudas. Bye bye. Yeah, I know I don't have to get the guys who are just like existing, chilling, you know, minding their own business, but I <laughs> love the gameplay so much that, like, I just want to fight things. It's just so smooth. Okay, we're heading over there. I guess we can go this way. This one. I definitely went. Wait, or did I? No, maybe I need to go round. No, if I just go across the bridge. Okay, and I literally missed. I'm gonna leave it. I don't need it. It's fine. I don't need it. We're, we're cool. We're cool. Uh, but yeah, I have my Mockery. lights really bright today. Justice so is what it is. The screen's a bit dull. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. <gasps> the back shield. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Hmm, but what? 
I was thinking that dance in the gallows jig like the Miller's son. All right, I heard you the first time. I thought that maybe it was something to do with like luring Clive out, but I don't. Welcome, stranger. They don't know about Clive. Well, they do. Well, I don't know actually. See, I could buy this, but like I'll probably find two in the wild, and I already have a high potion, so there's not really Take any the point of now. getting it. I have no use for the merchants for the past Excuse God knows me. many episodes. What was all that about earlier? You haven't heard. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There's <gasps> been attacks on the garrison. They're right. Supplies stolen. They even say a black Mind shield. Mind you, it's the black shields. Are they true? The Empire right? wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. Okay. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred billion? Who's doing it then? Hello! That is the same dog that I've seen in the last three places that we've been to. There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. Though back then, he wouldn't have needed to. I like squinting to see the game. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on. Oh look, it's outlaws. literally the same dog again. How do you like that, boy? Two more left to join the garrison this very morn. Having none left to help the harvest. Word is, poor Isolde's closed her gates to all but the highborn, and now a great camp sprung up along the walls. What did those knights want, Father? You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Oh, yeah. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arsene to nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these oh, firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Wait, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe not. But like, that's what I was thinking in terms of like, oh, luring them out, they're trying to find these two. That was my thought process. I just didn't convey it properly okay i promise that was what i was thinking i'm I, i'm not just taking on that I'm like mm, yes i was definitely thinking that like i genuinely was i just didn't expect myself to think. oh my god i haven't pet toggle in so long let's pet toggle i kind of forgot i could for a hot minute toggle let me pet you don't back into the corner let me pet when you did you get so big it's he's literally been the same for the past five years my love <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. Hmm? Oh, it's him, the one who was I speak to black for the shield. people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. Do you know you who are to we leave are? Amber and never come back? May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or okay, what brings no, you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Yikes. These people live with a knife to their throat. Oh no. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Uh, sorry, I... It's nothing. Sure? We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. 
But other than Martha, who else in Roseri would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Empire? Did they really look for Joshua? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Could they? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm guessing we get there by going this way. I don't think it put the camera angle the this mountains. way. We won't. Meant and to directly go into the path of whoever way. or whatever lurks here. I can't remember where we saw Joshua. I can't remember if. It was said where Joshua was. Ever since the apology, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What is it that's waking you? The mother crystal's I have an idea. We are going to like it. Yeah. Ah! This one. Ah! I thought that was. Another one, okay. Never seen that before. How weird. Some black shields. Let's take them on. Oh, that was so cool. I just went round a different way that we could have gone. Let's go down this way. as well. Well, not potions. I could do with two more potions. Please. Maybe three, so I can use one. Ooh, more black shields. Some 
So do I. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Ooh. Quest destination nearby. What I is 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 over. Honestly, I won't lie. I think I'm gonna have to turn my lights on a bit because my I'm kind of straining my eyes at the moment. <laughs> okay. I couldn't see it was it was too bright. Oh god. Oh that that's blood. Blood. <laughs> no, I wasn't laughing at the blood. I was laughing it's at the way he wet. ran and then Oh Togo. Oh no. You were told to stay in your homes. I don't have a home here, babes. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Guess you don't know who I am. We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To I dwell in darkness that, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Yeah, we've already heard this. Say that again. I'll show you a true Wait, what did he say? He said, I'll show you something true of Rosaria. the shiny though. Oh, is he still alive? Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. Oh, so you know who we are. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordil, <laughs> guardians of the flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Do I speak my thoughts or not? <laughs> no. So, it's nothing to do with the story or like the acting or anything. It's more so that, oh, I'm gonna get you guys. In this part of the game, I don't feel like the graphics are holding up as well. In boss fights, yeah. In boss fights and in, like, fighting parts, yeah, it holds up. Again, there are just, just some moments where it doesn't match up to the past with like other parts of the game. And it, it, it kind of puts a bit weird. 
like the part with Togo when Togo just growled it just it didn't match up and it was the same with the last part when we found Ambrosia again like when Ambrosia showed up on the screen I was just like huh not saying that the game is bad I think I'm thoroughly enjoying the game I'm enjoying the boss fights and everything it is literally just some scenes where it it just looks a bit weird <laughs> it just looks a teeny tiny bit weird something boy see now Togo looks fine but like before yes. it didn't. no found her. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. I feel like... Is it that she's trying to get back at him? Oh, Clive. Should go. It's the fact that the brand yes. is that we're in cost costness, cost nice. Said to these. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. They said that they would be the ones paying, and they did. I I don't really know. Oh, this is the bridge. I wonder if at some point we're gonna let that down. I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it wasn't gonna be nice. But oh, that did that did make me feel quite sick. I don't know if there's anything around here. I don't know if at some point we're gonna be able to bring back people and make this a livable place again. I kind of just want to move on now. I just, I don't want to look around here. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. More black shields? No. No, I think this guy's good. Oh, good. I... Didn't happen to come by way of old ill, did you? Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morning, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Oh. I did, Mummy! I could hear him shouting from down the road. That's oh. no. You didn't hear nothing. It's heartbreaking seeing the children a curfew, reassurance from their mothers or their fathers, their parents, and they're just like, their parents are just as scared and they're just like, shut up, like, don't, you didn't hear anything. Cause that's the only way that they think they can keep them safe, but even that isn't going to help them. In honor of the 250th, 250th anniversary of the founding of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. 
I mean, these are Clive's people. You'll find no succor to the South Travelers, nor beyond the Buick. The Empire has seen fit to banish us from our own land. Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. Well, the place is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Ooh. Let us pass! Oh my god. Have mercy. chance of slipping through unnoticed we'll need to find another way in the gates around the corner that I saw I thought we might be able to reason with the guards or at least bribe them I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same 
Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My <laughs> uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. Thinking of Batman, you know, the Lazarus pit. Yeah, those are the gates I saw. We'll I find think. our way into the city there. How are we if supposed you're sure. to get over the gate? And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? No, but I mean, where is in this realm? As long as it is abandoned. Let's face it, it's definitely not abandoned. Okay, black light bands. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. I mean, Maybe they found who they were looking for. It's only a few meters away. Yards, feet. Well, there's probably a couple thousand feet, but still, yeah, these were the gates I saw. Now we know why the refugees didn't come here. Keep looking then. Just open. Okay, they close behind us. Where is This is nothing like I remember it. They spin How quickly it. a crown uh -huh. can lose its luster. It's just funny watching them spawn in. Because <laughs> I like, I'm like, you guys weren't just there and then they appear on my ass and spawned in. Oh come on, you can so jump higher than that. Who's here? Not abandoned then. Then I think it would be. Visitors! I'm not gonna hurt you. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Okay, maybe you guys aren't nice. There are gonna be more people coming from that way, aren't there? Yeah. I. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to get through. Why not? Okay, I guess we're fighting them. I I thought we had a reason that, but I mean, fine. Well, they are bad. With me today. It's a bit weird. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. Oh. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Is that. Is that Wade? No. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. Damn, you I have naught to fear from us. Your people. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. I was right. <laughs> I was right. Oh my god. I know it from the hair. <laughs> <laughs> We can speak inside. See, I really wish we could have just reasoned with the guys that are now, you know, littering the floor. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. They're okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're, we're all good. I didn't hurt them permanently. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I thought I did. And it, those who wouldn't like bend did, the knee? I guess not. We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. I thought Wade was branded. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. I guess he wasn't. Alas, 
There is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperials' clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. I wish we knew more about her. The hatred for no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone he having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. See, I'm just, I'm trying to understand why. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. Do you mean... If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Use head. <laughs> Use head. Um... Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. It's the way that they're called shields. Oh we my must. god, and Clive was a shield. Ugh. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. But, like, they're meant to be protecting people and they're literally doing the opposite. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Once more. And we at yours. So, Wade. Let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. <laughs> so I remembered on the, the tree thing that his wasn't blacked out. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Oh, fuck up there. I suppose we owe you our thanks. You spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. I mean, I thought I did, but I mean, I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay, we need to speak this that way. Allow me to tend to your needs, my lord. You'll show them as much. You're tending to no needs, not my own anyway. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge, and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. Okay. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. I mean, I How could take all exactly? of them anyway, so... Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. I doubt I could have done this on my own. I probably could but have. until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. 
putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. The way Jill's just been shining since shining. She has been shining, but she's been smiling as well. Okay, party members. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Okay. Are you coming with us now? I'm confused. Are you? Oh, you are. Okay. Just because, like, you weren't moving. We'll keep them from the bridge. May the blessing of the phoenix go with you. Oh, stop it. But yeah, that's one thing that I don't really understand about the whole Annabella scenario, and I don't know if I've missed it in dialogue somewhere. have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Or... Since they burned their first village. If... We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Or if it was somewhere in a Hippocrates this place you, where you read all the lore and everything, and I was meant to read it there. I never really understood the whole Lady Annabella, what she's kind of doing, Odilio. I haven't understood it. Because she had Clive, On your command, yes. my lord. Like I under okay, I understand that she wanted the was it the ducal line to remain pure? She wanted it to just be like the blessing of the Phoenix. You can only have one icon, right? Under oh sorry, one dominant under one icon, right? Which is why Clive was so like, oh, there's a second icon on fire, which was obviously him. So she had a shield. Maybe it was the bearer that she didn't like. The fact that he was bearer, because obviously he was a shield, but he was a bearer too. Yeah, because he's branded. He he was branded. He's he singed it off. But she had Joshua, and she still didn't really seem to care for Joshua either. Oh no, I guess she did, because she got mad and blamed Clive when Joshua used his powers to help healed Clive. Is she mad at Clive for killing Joshua? But she didn't seem to care about Joshua's death, which is why, like, I'm so confused. I don't think I've got enough of Lady Annabella to really be able to depict her character to see what she's doing or where she at. I mean, what, we're 16, 16 parts in now? Which I would say is, like, 16 hours. And don't get me wrong, I love the game, but I can't really... Maybe it's just a me issue. It literally could just be a me issue. But I can't really decipher what's happening outside side of Clive and Joshua's relationship just because that's been such a main focal point for so long and I'm still constantly thinking about their reunion. I think it's literally just a me issue. <laughs> I think I'm just so like focused in, dialed in, nitpicking their relationship, their story that I haven't really cared to make time for anything outside of their relationship but I think because it opened with that I've just kind of been focused in on that plot point and haven't really essentially cared for anything else that was happening which is maybe why why I've missed some of the points with Lady Annabella and what she's doing with the Black Shields and everything. But I also think that because we spent so long looking for this second icon of fire and all that and then found out it was Joshua and all that that I'm trying to catch up with what's going on but it hasn't really been told to me all that much. I get it but I want to get why and I know the characters don't get why but I want to get why. I don't care if the characters don't get it. I want to understand. I want to understand why. I also hope we find out more about Jill because we get little bits of her here and there and then she just kind of like is by Clive for most of it. So I just I just want to get more of her and I want to get more of Lady Annabella but I also want to get more of the surrounding plot point but I want to I don't I don't know. I just want to know more. I just want to know more. But to be fair, it's a long game. So like we have time to figure it out, you know. I just want to know now. Oh, you guys are feisty. What is I it hate now? the fact that I, I like your you. armor. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. You want to say that again? Then come! Die along with your flame! Oh, you don't know that I have... Forest I'm area. a dominant myself. Forest area. And have the blessing of not only the Phoenix, but Gruda and... Your revolution ends here. On these our swords we swear. Ah! Oh, <laughs> 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 
No, wait, items. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say that. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. What's that? That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Get him! Get me, Doctor! Do you need to get some more potions though? <laughs> I don't see any more. Nor do I. The plan worked. I don't trust this. It did. It bloody worked. No, it didn't. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. I really don't trust She'll move game. swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. Yes, we have to take down I Lady I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die, and her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. 
think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. I was just... Quest complete. No, I was just wondering, could essentially Clive not take back the throne? Or like, okay, let's say they... Annabella, you know. Could Clive... Clive is the firstborn. Now, I don't know if you have to be an icon to rule. I don't assume... I don't think you do. Or like, I guess a dominant, not an icon, their dominance. But Clive is a dominant. Could he not take back the throne? I know that there's a new heir, but wouldn't this new heir, is this new heir a part of his area? This, this is, this is just why I want to know more. I don't know if there's somewhere I can read it. This is just why I want to know more. And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Aww. Since the beginning. I hope we get to meet Lord him. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after Alive. forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move was might he prove one his of downfall. The guys that was in the huge it is meeting. why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses his name you an audience, mentioned. especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. Ooh. A letter? It's the mark of the guardians. Oh, okay. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Seal obtained. You accept the burnt blade from me. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. <laughs> Unless you deserve it. Just don't show it to the wrong people, okay? If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. <laughs> Ooh, what? I I don't I forgot how they pronounced it. <laughs> Rosfield Manor. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna see Annabella. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. <laughs> Is this Lord Byron? All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine oh. my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Hello, Uncle. Clive Rosfield died long ago. I think he could see his brother in him. And for uttering his Both name Clive here, himself. you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> it is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> Cursed 
trust the infectious flax wench? Even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. <laughs> oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you have both nephews still alive. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Come <laughs> sit. Let him have this five. Oh, it's so See cute. that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> Rutherford sounds familiar. But no. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Yeah. Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this Does town. Jill know and thus something? must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but what recently relieved know? of her cargo. Jill is she can hiding be outfitted something. for the voyage in a matter of weeks. And I think it's something so to you do believe with facing then. her past. About everything. Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides... I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible <laughs> liar. Is that true? <laughs> it's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Times have changed. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. Look, this Jill. What are you hiding? What has she done? I think she's done something. It would only make sense. Uh, Which is also makes Go sense on. about the right. limited knowledge about she's both hers ship, and she? Annabella's past. <gasps> are we gonna find out now? <gasps> Oh my god. Once outfitted, 
She'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I oh, saw no other choice. So... Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. But it was. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. She believes she became a monster. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? Of course. I want to choose a different path, a better path. That's what we're doing. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. Is she leaving? And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Is she? Just promise me that you won't die with it. Like he was about to with his. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Okay, I thought... I honestly thought there was more to that than I think the game camera angles made out to be. I'd assume that Jill had done something that turned her into a monster or something like that. Um, but no. Okay, so we're going back to the hideaway. Um, yeah. Well, oh, here be monsters. Okay, that is Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Oh, okay, we're gonna go speak with Vivian. There is two side quests. We will do those next time, though. Let's see about upgrades. We have a thousand. I didn't wanna. How do I do those? It's Clive. Maybe we'll do this. Upgrade that. Okay. Yeah. Best of the best right now. Yeah, I just never feel the need to change anything, to be fair. I am going to go ahead and save, and I am going to leave that there for today's part of Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, again, really enjoyed it. I really am loving where this game is heading. I think it's a lot of fun. I do want to see Clive meet Annabella, his mother. I want to see how that turns out. Well, my, why, why is my face so red? But yeah, I really do want to see that. That's one thing that I'm definitely the most interested in at the moment. I'm also kind of interested in Clive and Joshua reuniting for good, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it will, and then something bad is going to happen, and they're going to be pulled apart again. That's what I think. But yeah, I think that was actually a really bittersweet moment, or like, it was a really sweet moment just seeing Clive and Lord Byron reunite and that really but it was so sweet but anyway i'm gonna leave it there today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you in the next part of final fantasy 16. okay bye